What's going on, gun lovers? It's Rizzo. We're back today. We're gonna do an unboxing, a unbagging of this Dakota P Duo 2011. All right. I think we should get you a new gun. Did you name your new gun yet? I uh got my Staccato from Dawson Precision, so they I uh, got it with the Holosun uh, 507 uh, C Green. What do you see, Cosmo? A red dot. And, and I kind of did break one of my my cardinal rules is where I uh, I always like to shoot a handgun at least 250 times with the iron sights before I put a, a dot on it, but whatever. And they also sent me this great t-shirt that says the right of the people to bear arms uh to keep bear arms shall not be in french so great job from dawson precision got me a t-shirt so uh let's uh open this box and see what we got all right all right so we're gonna do a uh <laughs> unboxing and we're also gonna do a quick uh field strip just you know of you guys that haven't uh, haven't had one before um because it's a little different how you feel strip but all right so let's check it out and let's see what we got in the bag. Right, well, I need to see what's in the bag. What's in the bag? Well, you know what? First, let's just go through get rid of all of the, the other stuff. Like I said, it came from Dawson Precision, so they sent me, uh, you know, little tools and everything that they did to put the, uh, the holo sun on. So, you know, it comes with uh, all your little stuff, the thing they shot it with. That's pretty decent. Other little two Loctite, uh, the uh, back sight. Like I said, I did put on the uh, Holosun, so they sent the back sight. So I'll talk about that a little later. Set that to the side. This locks in the manual and everything. So yeah, all of that stuff is in there. All right, and let's see what we got here. A couple of warning signs. Yeah, I was like, man, get to it. Quit playing around. Well, it's about time. All right, here we go. There we go. Staccato P Duo. Uh, yeah, like this thing. Like this thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It comes with a 4.4 inch bull barrel. Comes with. Let me take that out. Can't get it straight, can I? <laughs> Take that out, yeah. 4.4 inch um, bull barrel. Um, trigger is four, four and a half pounds. I think the weight, I got the, uh, the steel model. So the steel model is 33 ounces. I think the aluminum one would be uh, 28. Of course, it does come with a uh, <clears throat> a grip, grip safety and a regular, uh, regular safety. Uh, on the side, so yeah, that is whoo, this thing is pretty. She sure is pretty. Boy, it sure is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so it comes with uh, what they call the Dawson Precision uh, Perfect Impact uh, sights, and of course, like we said, I had the rear, you know, it has a rear plate. Uh, what's that rear plate called? The tactical cover plate with black charger. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the rear plate. We had that uh, taken off, and it is, uh, when they put it on, it does, uh, it does uh, co-witness, so yeah, so that's a good thing. When they put the uh, the hollow sun on, they did uh, put the rear sights on, so you can uh, co-witness. So that is that's good. Got this uh, what they call the tack texture frame, and it is a little uh, narrow, so it's supposed to be able to give you a better um, a better grip. And, and this texture supposed to you know, hold to your hand a lot better, even when it's uh, wet. So that that tack tack texture grip is uh, going to be great. I'm going to have to get used to using the uh, the uh, the grip safety, but that's fine. We'll do with that. It comes with, uh, well, it came with three magazines, uh, two 17 round magazines and a 20 round magazine. So that is good. I always like uh, the, the more magazines, the better. That means it's less I got to buy. So. And I want more. I want more. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking to get it from uh, Dawson Precision, that's uh, a good place to get it from because a lot of stuff inside of there. Uh, the Dawson Precision recall system is part of the whole thing. So, yeah, the Staccato, we're going to go out and uh, do a first three mags uh, 
probably sometime this week, this weekend, because I still got to do one on a couple other guns. So yeah, Staccato P, this thing is nice. Feels good um, in hand. Uh, like I said, they said that trigger is about four, four and a half pounds. So we will, we will check it out. Look at that trigger. That is nice. That's pretty. That is a pretty gun. Now I haven't put a um, a light on it yet. They're debating. Um, I guess the X300 is what everybody kind of goes with. Eh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna carry it yet. We'll see if I carry. I may put a light on it. We'll see. So like I said, we got the Hollow Sun 507 seal here. Dawson Precision did, I guess, the whole uh, what they call the reflex system, reflex system where they went and uh, they had the plates. You had to buy the plate and the uh, optic, and they'll uh, they'll put it on for you and then test fire to make sure everything uh, is working perfectly before they send it out to you. It's perfect. All right, so we're still gonna do a little, a quick little fill strip just to kind of show you how it's got to do it. I kind of maybe going tomorrow. More detail in a future video. Um, they're not trying to make this one go too long, but um, it is a little different. So what you want to do is you see you got um, two notches up, up here. This notch right here, second one, um, the one closer to the rear. We're going to line it up with the slot lock, uh, uh, slot release lever here. So we're just going to pull it back, and then what we'll do is on this end, you see that little. Not a little pin, but that's the other end of the slide lock release lever. We're just going to push that in and take the lever out. So if we pull it back, you guys can see to right over where that lever is. And then we're just going to push it from that end and pull it out, take it out. So when it's out, you can slide your slide off and that's your frame you don't really need or if you're gonna do some clean we'll do a cleaning video well we may just show you what the oil how they oil it up so that's how you take the slide off um the recall system is it's a little different also so with this one is it doesn't come off the back you have to push it full push it. all right so the uh guide rod is similar thing it's a little, little different so we're not gonna pull it out, we're gonna push it up, and then there's a little a little notch at the front, we're gonna let that up, and that's how it's gonna come out. So you see how it looks now. We're just going to push it all the way up, then this little thing here. You push that in, and it just kinda, you see that little piece there? Push that in on this end, it pops up, it stops on the slide. And that's how it slides out. So all that spring is under tension now inside of there. So be careful with that. So that's how you take that off. And then the uh, barrel, this little notch here, come down, push that down. And you're just going to slide your barrel out the front. And there you go. Fill strip. You are done. So, um, of course, they suggest cleaning it and um I keep talking about the precision system, so you need to oil it up before you go uh, shoot it. Now, I also did read some Doss Precision said, uh, first time you shoot it, it's better to oil it up right before you go shooting rather than oil it up the night before. But that's what they say. I'm, I'm going to do what they say. Well, just do what they say. But we're supposed to do what they say. No, you don't. All right, so let's put this billy back together. All right, so we're going to take the barrel gonna slide it back in and that piece that we had down we're gonna flip it back up it's gonna go up all right so now we'll take the recoil assembly there is a little see how it's shaped there, that little notch right there it's gonna go toward the bottom so it's gonna sit on top of the barrel so we're just gonna slide it in and we're gonna push it All the way forward let that piece drop back down and then we'll bring it back all right and that piece is sitting up so we want that up so all right so um main thing okay we're putting the slide back in just make sure when you're holding it that this little thing here is down it's not like sliding back up in there so it may be a good idea to even kind of hold it down like that 
slide it back in. And now we will put this in. Back in and All right, so got that in. It's a little harder than what it should have been, but it's in there. So now when you get it in, uh, everything back together, you want to do a quick uh, function check. So we're just going to put it back on the slide a couple of times. I'm going to put the safety on and pull the trigger. It does not want well, make sure I'm depressing the safe. Doesn't shoot. Take the trigger off. Hit it again. Bam, everything works fine. Here we can put a magazine and pull it back. It stops. That's good. Mag release. Hit that. All right. So it is working just fine. I didn't think I could do it, but I did it. So like I said, if you want me to do a more detailed uh, video about the disassembly of the field strip, I'll do that. But real quick on the um, uh, Lugan. Um, like I said, clean and lube everything. Um, um, well, clean everything inside it out. Um, the steel frames you want to keep it all, but the main place you want to all they all would be say to start. Um, this little place spot here, so just put a little oil right here on a couple of drops on the front right there, and then just kind of cycle it through the spread it around. Uh, up here in the front, Let's put a couple of drops here, maybe I don't know, drop a two on here. Okay, run. And I'll probably use a little more on um, <laughs> this most. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's kind of how you would get that done. Uh, some people may drop a uh, drop or two in the barrel. I hope you. And okay, so for the slide, just take it here, and on the y'all you know where the rails are on the side. Just put a couple of drops on each side. Oh, you can see me. A couple of drops there. A couple of drops there. And then just kind of slide, slide back and forth, get that all the way in. Um, this basically was it. Um, like I said, I, I will do a full um video on the disassembly and everything. I just kind of went through that really uh really quick, so I hope I didn't miss anything. But yeah, that is my uh the unboxing, not really a review on it yet. We'll go out, we'll do a uh. Hopefully get the first three mags and hopefully me a lot more than that. But we'll video the first three of this thing. If it shoots as well as they say, we might do a thousand round review next week. We'll see. I got a lot of, just bought a thousand rounds of ammo. Getting off topic. All right, so Staccato P Duo um, unboxing field strip. Hope you guys uh, liked the video, found a little something out of it, enjoyed it. So we'll go out and shoot this thing this weekend. Uh, got some Staccato ammo. We'll see how it shoots. Didn't even know they sell ammo. Yep, cool. So we'll go out, we'll shoot it this weekend. Uh, we'll let you guys know. And then I'll probably even do, uh, hopefully, a review pretty soon on the Hollow Sun 5077. A lot of you guys probably already got it. So if you're thinking about getting one, we'll do a review on that one too. Until then, you guys stay safe, shoot straight, keep training, subscribe to the channel, please, all right? Let me get my viewership up. Somebody watch the videos, all right? We'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.